everybody wants to play faster. And I've talked about ways that you can play faster, and that's what this technique video is about. Now, usually I would have my bass with me, but you don't re I don't really need the bass to show you what's good. Well, in a little bit I will pick it up. In order to play faster, you need to always take it slow. One of the best ways that you can build up speed is by knowing the subdivisions of notes, i.e. there are four sixteenth notes to a quarter, there, and also there's two sixteenths to an eighth. So if you have a metronome tempo of uh, 60 beats per minute, and you play straight sixteenth notes, over just you play 16th notes and you keep going. You don't stop with the 16th notes. You will develop the endurance to keep chugging at a tempo of 120 beats per minute playing solely 8th notes. And one of the best things that you can do, because this is how I work on scales, else is I'll just hammer out 16th notes, hammer out 8th notes, hammer out, hammer out triplets using different fingering groupings. Four, Four fingers, index and um, pinky, three fingers, index and ring, the traditional two, Getty Lee Flamenco style. I just hammer it out so that I can A, build up the endurance to play at that tempo, but also, also I can develop the proper strength and conditioning to play at that tempo, and it allows me to slowly warm up. Uh, but one of the important things that you need to remember, I'm just grabbing my bass, is you need to listen to your body. You know, this is me playing 16th notes, four finger. Right then and there, the way that I have my arm positioned, I'm not resting my wrist on the bass. I'm not causing unnecessary pressure that can lead to carpal tunnel by just leaving my wrist flat on the base. Anyways, I don't have my, I have my shoulder relax. I don't have it, you know, tighten it, tightened in certain areas. Because when you feel pain, it's your body telling you to stop. You're doing it wrong. Um, playing straight 16th notes jumping from the whatever your lowest string is to whatever your highest string is needs to feel the same as just chugging out chugging it out on one string and this goes for pick playing as well so you got to be prepared to get up to the speed that you want to get at over a very prolonged period of time there's still speeds that I want to be able to comfortably play at but I haven't been able to do that because I have to re <coughs> excuse me, I have to continuously just stop and start again and because my arms cramping up, my shoulders cramping up. Listen to your body and just take it easy. If you want to work on developing 16th note speed at slower tempos, here's here's another technique that you can use. Instead of playing 16th notes at slower tempo, I'll play, play 32nd notes. Yeah, play 32nd notes at the slower tempo. So that's 60 beat, beats per minute, play 32nd notes. Essentially, in 4 beats at 60 beat, beats per minute, you want to be able to count off in your head 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e e and a twice. Or you want to, be, if you're doing it in 4. I suggest doing it in 4 and then going back and switching it up to odd meters so that you can play in those odd meters. But we're keeping it simple right now in simple duple meters. So in this case, 4 4. So however you count, 16th notes 
over a 4-4 measure, you want to be able to count it off twice. But again, you want to be able to play it without hurting yourself, without causing yourself to cramp up in some capacity or another. Hope that made sense.